Hi, welcome to Simple as That. Today, I have Aubrey Broyles on the show with me, and we are going to be reinventing the Turby Twist. Turby Twist, you say? Well, that is what this little guy is right here. This was a gift given to me, see, Turby Twist. And what you do is after you get out of the shower, you throw this over your head, and then you twist your hair in it, and then there's this little piece of elastic here, and you tighten it up, and it looks like a turban. And then you can have your hair all put up and work on your face or whatever. It helps dry your hair really Hel quick, too. Yeah, it helps dry your hair really quick, too. Problem with this baby is it's not long enough for my daughter's hair or for your hair. It, it won't, all of the hair won't fit in it. So I thought, why don't we see if we can make these ourselves? And I got on Pinterest, and sure enough, there's lots and lots of wisdom and in instructions, and but none of them were quite as long as I wanted. So we are gonna make our own pattern today. I'm gonna show you how to do that. And we are going to use, um, the supplies we're going to use today, we have our little um, quarter inch um, elastic that we're going to use. This is an auto, microfiber towel. Auto, yes, this is, um, you find this in the automotive section at um, Walmart. And why? Because it's microfiber and it's super, it's thin and it absorbs so much water. And these are super fantastic. And um, so that's why mm -hmm. we it, go find this in your automotive section. And we are not gonna waste any of this towel. Right. Um, another reason um, to use these, you might be thinking, well, why can't I just use a normal full-size towel, wrap your hair up in it? Uh -huh. um, but another, um, a lot of people will say that these are better for your hair because they don't uh, break your hair off as bad. Um, with those big, heavy towels, that has a tendency to pull your hair and, yeah. and break the ends. Yeah. So when you're using something light and um, you know, lightweight and not so heavy, um, it, it's actually better for your hair. Yes, so. definitely. So win-win. Yeah. And these are really lightweight and thin yeah. and they absorb so much wa more water than your standard terry cloth towel, mm -hmm. which this is just standard terry cloth. So what I did was just turn it inside out and flattened it out. And I know that it needs to be longer. So I kind of guessed. And then I got out the, I, I don't want to waste any of this. I'm going to cut away from this, but I don't want to waste too much of it because this is really nice stuff. So I kind of laid it out here to see about here's where I'm going to start and then I'm going to come down here to about about the end of it. So we're, what we're going to do, this is just standard butcher paper and I drew the pattern out and I just started down here about where I wanted it to be and I just drew up and around and I think that'll work, don't you Aubrey? Absolutely. And then actually um, you need to remember we have this handy dandy elastic here and this elastic, it, when you bring it up and around, it, it allows it to hold so you don't have to worry about it falling out or anything. So we want to make sure we don't forget that. And so I've made a mark here on the um, paper. So what we'll do now, Aubrey, so again, you just need a towel, some butcher paper, some elastic, a sewing machine, and thread, yeah. scissors. Yeah, I think that's it. Yeah. All right, so Aubrey, You'll go ahead and get this pattern cut out for us, okay. and then we'll transfer it over onto this fabric. I can do that. I'm glad you um, remembered that about um, it being better for your hair. Yeah. Um, my daughter has really, really long, thick hair, mm -hmm. and she has a terrible time getting it to dry. In fact, usually when she goes to bed at night, it's wet because she, she takes a shower before bed, mm -hmm. and then in the morning when she gets up, it's still wet. <laughs> so, I, have, I have really thin, fine hair, um, but girls you know, having longer hair, it takes longer to dry anyway. Right, um, exactly. But anyway, um, I have found that this is not only better so it doesn't break your hair off like a heavy towel, but also um, I blow dry my hair every morning. I have found that this takes um, a lot of the time out of blow drying because oh, yeah. this just takes so much more of that moisture out. It takes maybe half the time mm -hmm. to uh, blow dry my hair. So that's a, another good reason to use these. Excellent. All right, so now we just want to line up the bottom because we're this finished edge, when we're done, we're going to just fold it up and create a hem at the bottom. Mm -hmm. So we just want that nice and even. And then I would just get it as close to that front edge there. It's not quite square. Not quite square? Okay. It's pretty 
close. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. So then, you want to pin this? Yeah, I it? think we will. We're we're just going to keep the straight edge at the bottom. Just a couple pins to hold it in place. Yep. So it doesn't move on us. Should be good. Alrighty. Do you want to cut it or would you like me to? Go on ahead. I'll let you Alrighty. cut it. Alrighty. All right. So we're just, and I would, yeah, just don't worry about, um, yeah, there? Just, yeah, start right about there. I think that'll be fine. Favorite color. Yeah, mine too. I know, I was really surprised. <laughs> an automotive set, one. you know, I wasn't, I didn't know what we would find when we went there. But I, I know I have a couple of other automotive towels that I use in my kitchen because I really like the size of them. Mm -hmm. Sometimes, you know, you get kitchen towels that are microfiber and they're little. Mm -hmm. And sometimes you just want a bigger towel. Oh, and more. they are always bigger in the automotive section. So that's where I go. Maybe I'll have some left over here for kitchen towels. Yeah. Well, I was just thinking we could probably, we're going to, we're going to see what we have left. We aren't going to waste any of this. And these are, were not that expensive. What, seven bucks a piece, I yeah. think? Yeah. So really uh, easy. Another inexpensive gift. All you need to purchase is the towel and the elastic and um, maybe some matching thread if you don't. I had some, so we didn't have to buy thread. Um, boom. All right, so now what we're gonna do is take these off and we're gonna mark. So right here is where I want that elastic to go. I'm going to put a pin in each layer. So then when we open this up here, all right, let's take these pins out. There we go. And we'll set that pattern aside. Okay, so now I want to, it's the same on either side. This one is, um, I have worked with some towels that sometimes, like Terry towels, sometimes they have a pattern on one side and they don't have a pattern on the other. But this one is patterned on both sides. So what we're going to do is open our elastic. And you just find this elastic in your notion section of like Hobby Lobby or Walmart, um, or if you, um, your a local store may carry it. Um, it shouldn't be too hard to find and again it's just really thin quarter inch elastic and we only need about three to four inches so you're gonna have a lot left over <laughs> and so what we're gonna do is we're gonna put these together we're gonna make sure that we sew I'm gonna actually pull it through so I can see. And we're going to pin that elastic in there. So we sew right over the top of it and it's ready to go. All right, Aubrey, now let's go ahead and pin it so we can sew it. And all we're going to sew is this edge around the outside. And you don't have to go super close together, just about every five inches or so, just to keep you on track. So 
that the layers don't move and the curve. All right, now what, what I'm going to do is take this to the sewing machine and we're going to sew a five inch of an inch around. Then we're going to back off and we're going to sew a quarter inch around. So we're going to double hem it or double sew it to reinforce it so that it doesn't come unraveled or anything. All right, Perfect. so, and when we come back, then I'll show you how to hem it. Okay. Storage Solutions is invested in complete customer satisfaction. You can choose a drive-up unit or a climate-controlled unit. Plus, you can choose from storage units of all sizes to fit your inventory. And that's not all. They'll sign for your packages and deliver and unload them into your unit. Storage Solutions has been named in the top 100 U-Haul dealers six times. Rent a pickup, cargo van, or a moving truck to keep your goods on the go. Remember, making moving and storing easy is Storage Solutions in Hayes and Victoria. Some mobile phone providers think they can just take, take, take. They'll all take an arm and a leg for a new phone. Got it. And look out if you go over your data limit. I didn't see that coming. Unlimited data plans as low as $20 per line. Come into any of our stores for a free, upfront, and honest consultation about your data and wireless needs. Next Tech Wireless, the carrier you trust. All right, so we have a double stitching around the edge, and you could trim that closer if you wanted to, but I don't think it's necessary. I think I will trim these little, um, the little elastic pigtails off. So we'll grab the scissors and just trim those down a little bit so they don't stick out. And there, it's kind of hidden in there. And I've got a little trimming to do here. Okay, so now we're going to hem the bottom. Now, this has, is surged, so you wouldn't have to do it, um, but I think I will just because I think it just kind of cleans up the edge. So what we'll do is we'll just turn it under about a half inch and we'll sew it all the way around the bottom. And you don't have to pin this because you're as you sew, you'll just kind of turn it and sew. And then we will be done um, with our turby twist. And I want to turn it right side out here. You can see that the elastic is here. And so we'll give you a demonstration as soon as we're done with it. So I'm going to go hem it and we'll come back and I will show you how to wear this baby. All right. All right, so here we have it. I've finished the hem and it looks really sharp. Here is the turby twist and here is our version. And I think, I think it's pretty fantastic. What do you think? I love it. It's perfect. You want to give her a try? Why not? Okay. Now that we're done filming, I can mess up my yes. hair. So for anybody that's never used one of these, you just put it over top of your hair. And usually it helps if you flip upside down. Yep. Got to get it all in there first. Yes. Then do it like this. Nope, gonna get all the hair in there. Yeah. That's probably not very good. That's okay. Then you it twist it. It helps if it's wet too. Yeah. It's not all curled and crazy. Yep. Yep. Then you just twist the hair up, which helps keep it dry. And then find your little piece of elastic. And you just put that in there like so. And, and then, boom. I bet I look beautiful. You do look fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> but it is so much better. There's so much more longer of an end. And yep. this one almost like my daughter, she can't even yes, her hair is so yeah. thick that first she has hair hanging out and then it won't even stretch, reach all the way up. So mm -hmm. this is so much better. So I'm really proud of this. So you will, guys will find, you can take your, you can take it off, Doc. <laughs> you can find the pattern. I will make that available for you on Pinterest. And um, also you'll need to check out this um, on, um, of course, our Next Tech Local One YouTube page and check us out on Next Tech Local One. Um, thank you for watching us. I hope you learned a few things and I hope you give this project a try. I really feel like it is a, a huge improvement on the original and we had a lot of fun putting it together. Thanks for watching.